Hey, well, good morning, everybody. How's it going? Today, I'm going to show you guys some items that I have for Tim Rover. It's a couple of things that I'm going to use and also things that are important on the rig and things also that will affect your pocketbook while you're on the road. So come on back and I'll show you what these things are. They're little small things, little big things, but things to think about or what to do when you're on the road. So I'll show you those in a bit. Come on back. So be mindful when you're at a campground, you want to make sure the voltage that's coming out of these containers here are the right voltage for your rig. and make sure you have your 30 amp like this one here has a crack top to it for a 30 amp and I have a 50 amp surge protector for Tim Rover this is a model 34850 this is the earlier model but they do have other models that's available and this is more extra security for you and your rig because you don't want any spikes with going on in your rig where it can blow out a fuse even mess up your transformer or mess up your converter, mess up your inverter, even it can mess up your generator. So you want to make sure a lot of these things here are just safe and sound for you. So look into a surge guard or progressive industries or something like that for your rig. On the back of Tim Rover, I put this Reese connector here on a, a while back, but I also bought these trailer ball covers and I'll put a link in the description below you can order these from. It can save from rust because when I installed this here on Tim Rover, this was brand new. As you can see how rusty it has gotten. And I also lubricate this here over the years, but still in all, it's still it's going to rust. So I'll go ahead and put this ball on. And this will hopefully um, protect it further from rust down the road. So I have a yellow. Um, ball cover and I have a red one so I'm going to use the red one this time. I'm going to cover this here up like so it just slips right on. This here will combat, help, help combat it won't stop the rust but it will help combat any future rusting of this ball hitch here and um, it's, it looks neat it's clean um, and also visible as well for any car that's behind you. You, you might have seen these noodles that I had for the wipers a while back. These are called pool noodles. These pool noodles are was designed basically for just kids and people to stay afloat while they're in the pool. They can just hold on to it because it's come very long. But I use this here on the wipers during the time I was winterizing Tim Rover. And also you can use this here on your slide where you won't bump your head in the event that you're in one of these compartments or even come around the corner and, and you inadvertently run into the side of the slide. So this helps out a lot. I do have a pool noodle on this side and you also can put a pool noodle at the bottom if you want. This is just extra security for you if you don't want to bump your head because I bumped my head many times on this slide out just because I wasn't watching what I was doing. So these two little things right here are very important you should know. This is my text tag, RFID, and here's my Pikes Pass. It's the radio frequency identification tag when you're going through the tolls. And what it is is that, unlike this one here is my Easy Pass or iPass, this one here, once you put it on your glass of your RV, this whole expansion of your RV becomes basically an antenna. So once this text tag and Pikes Pass of and other ones that you might have is affixed to your windshield of your RV, it has a chip built inside. So imagine you got these two passes here and you have two on your tow vehicle. Well, when I went to Nomad Fest last year, I was charged twice on the rig that I had these same tags on my vehicle. So when I went through the through the um, tow boops, and um, it registered for both vehicles, even though I was towing one vehicle, I'm not for sure if it's legal to have um, just one, as in your tow vehicle and your rig, or you should have it on both. So this is something to keep in mind. Maybe you guys can let me know in the description below on what you should do about this issue right here, because. You're going to be charged twice when you're on the toll roads using these passes here, one on your vehicle and one on your rig. Here's another one that I like. These are deer repellents. They make this high-pitched noise 
um, while you're on the road. I drive an electric vehicle, so by driving an electric vehicle, it's a pretty quiet car. So when you're on the road, you want to have some kind of noise when you're driving on the interstate where you have a deer come running out at you. This will kind of help out. I haven't had any issues over the years, not one issue with this here. I have it on, on my car since the 80s. And I like it. It's more of an extra security for me just because this here probably will save a life or save your vehicle. So look into it, the um, deer repellents here. Hopefully they'll work for your vehicle so as well. So here's another item that you can have on your rig. It's a safety vest. So basically this will help you when you're on the road and we have to get out of your rig to check something on the outside of your rig. You're on the expressway. You want to be safe at all times. So this is a nice, vivid safety vest. You can get one for each member of your family. This way you can always have one on board because it, it works. I like it. It looks great. And also it's very secure and people can see you coming when you're working on your rig on the outside. Just never know when that unforeseen adventure might arise when you're out there on the road. So keep in mind of a safety vest. Well, inside of Tim Rover, I have some items here I'm going to show you that you should always have on your rig. So this one here is a Garmin Nuvi GPS unit. This one here I don't use for navigation just because I this one here is not a dedicated GPS unit. I use this here for driving my direction, keeping my location as north, south, east, and west, and my elevation. I'm going to keep that in mind as well. And the current time and speed. That's the only reason why I use that one. I use this here in one of my other cars that is not updated. So it comes in handy just for that purpose only. Right here you have the Easy Tire TPS system. That's tire pressure monitoring system that I use on Tim Rover. The next one here is the Garmin GPS unit. This here is a dedicated unit just for RVs. You have to put in your height of the vehicle, that includes your antenna, the length of the RV, the width of the RV, and things like that and other items from your weight and you name it. So this one here, it has lifetime maps on it and I'll put a link below you can order this from. They might have a newer version out there, but make sure you get your lifetime map for your Garmin dedicated GPS unit for RVs, so don't forget that. I'm not for sure if you can see this part here. There's a little blue and pink aisle. So I use these here, the blue aisle, I use my little friends I call it. I use that to keep me centered in the lane. When I'm driving, I use that aisle to mark the white lines or yellow lines in the road where I, could, I know that I'm centered when I'm driving. And the pink aisle, I use that when I'm making turns. I know exactly when to turn with that aisle when, I, when I'm in a section or when I'm at a campground. So these two things have helped me out over the years. Well, here's something that doesn't look like much, and you've seen it many times at Walmart or at your convenience store. On Tim Rover, I have three of these solar lights here. They're very efficient. They're cost effective. Basically, when you're at a campground, you want to have something to light your way. Nothing, not so obtrusive where it's disturbing your neighbors, but these are efficient. Um, solar lights you can use at your campground and basically they're easy to take off. Just pull that off, pull the spike off, and now you're ready to go to your next campground. So I hope these things help you out today from the um, little ball hitch cover, red or yellow, and you have your text tag and your Pikes Pass as well as even your Easy Pass or iPass. The Easy Pass or iPass is a little bit different. You can kind of remove that from the windshield without being charged, but the text tag and the Pikes Pass, you're gonna be charged twice if you have this sticker on your tow vehicle as well as your rig, because remember that tag on your windshield acts as a big antenna once it's affixed. And once you take it off, it's, you can't use it anymore. So think about those things in the surge guard and from my little two friends I keep in the windshield that have taught me how to drive my RV, a Tim Rover, with precision as well as watching out for others and know how to stay in my lane without going out of my lane because as you guys know driving an RV is different from driving a car. 
but do me a favor. You guys give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button below, and I'll bring you other tips, tricks, even cooking to the Tim Rover channel. You guys take care. See you next time. Bye.